All right, so how about this question? Should governments be forced to cover the cost of the popular and expensive weight loss drug Ozempic and others like it? Well, one woman in Washington state is suing for just that, since the state recognizes obesity as a disability. Now, currently, federal law prohibits Medicare from paying for weight loss drugs, but a study from the New England Journal of Medicine predicts that if just 10 percent of obese Medicare beneficiaries received the drug, it would cost the government $27 billion a year. You ready to open up Medicare for this, Rose? <laughs> oh, man, no comment. Look, no comment? Is, so that... In the end, here's what I will say about this drug and the salient point that this person is making, which is that obesity is one of, if not the greatest public health crises that we are facing in this nation. We have far too many overweight Americans. And as we're considering things like this, there is a risk-based calculus here that there's a continued so, cost to people you, staying as fat as they are. And so if the government <laughs> can address that... But, I mean, are we, are, are we giving up getting people to take responsibility for their own oh, diets? No, is, no, that's no, the, no, that's no, the question. 40% obese, but let's, take, let's talk about Ozempic. Doesn't it not work? I mean, let's be honest. Well, 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 no, no, it works. It works. It works. Well, okay, but let's just say you get one that works, okay? Here's the problem right now, and that is that they're going to see this as cosmetic rather than actually being chronic. Right. And that's where lawmakers right. on Capitol Hill, if they treat obesity as something that is chronic, you will see it used, you know, more with insurance. The problem is it's $1,000 a month. And, it's like and that's going to start like, tax. Like 15, 16 Max, grand a year. of course, and has, wants to spend every dollar. Everybody on their Upper East Side is taking this right now. So we, 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 yeah, we see, might... That's it, the thing. I mean, it's, a, it's become a fashionable thing. It, it, but what I will say is, is that in the long term, if people are not obese at the rates that they are right now, Here's you'll see aggregate get health care costs go down now I know so here's here's the argument that here's the argument that Jeanette that Jeanette Simonson is making 57 years old she told the New York Times quote they're being penny wise and pound foolish mm. what will they be paying in 10 to 15 years if I don't if I don't continue to lose the weight Julia yeah, look, I think there's a question of the who's who is the government paying for for this? Um, there's the question of co cosmetics and there's a, this is definitely something that's in vogue right now. There are some people that are obese and genuinely do need it. But when does the government come in and start regulating who gets a Ozempic mm. or Wagovi? Yeah. Who does? I mean, it's a question. They already pretty much do that anyway with a lot of other drugs. And that's that's like that's going to be the question. Dietary means yeah, test. When does it actually become <laughs> FDA approved? and we all agree what the widget is that helps bring uh, down uh, weight loss. You know, I think a more uh, fundamental uh, question is why are Americans m more overweight on average than anybody else in the world, basically? Right. By the way, right. Novo yeah. Nordisk, which is the company behind this, just reported earnings last week. They say sales growth up 38% in Q3, up 33% this year alone, and they are attributing that to sales of Ozempic and Wagovi in the United States. Always bet on big pharma. <laughs> that's yeah, that's the key. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.